Hello there, fight friends. MMA Andy Cottrell here, and it is Sunday, and you know what that means. It's time for an update on everything that happened in Canadian MMA in the past week and what's going to happen next week. Last week, there were a lot of fights that were added to various fight cards across the country, but only one Canadian fought, and if you watch my channel, you know that that was Thunder Bay, Ontario's Kelton Sneavy. You can see my full interview with Kelton on the MMA YouTube channel, or if you saw the Instagram reel of my uh, clips of his videos with him that have seen over 3,000 views so far, you know that Kelton was going down to LFA 174 looking for his second professional victory, and he did get that indeed. Kelton predicted in, in my uh, exclusive video interview with him that he was going to finish American Cody Milhausen inside the first round, and that's exactly what happened. Congratulations, Kelton. 2-0 and as a pro. Looking forward to seeing where you're going to go next. Now, if you want to take a look at what's happening next week, you can get your phone, and you can open up to MMA and follow along with me. You go up to the status bar on the top, you press Upcoming Events, and follow along with me. As you can see, we have four Canadians that are upcoming fighting outside of Canada in the next month or so, including Devin Lose, who is Kelton's uh, teammate. Next, go down to the MMA events in Canada. There are three really big ones to talk about right now, uh, and that is the first four you see on the list. Uh, we're going to skip ahead to Samurai MMA 9, and we're going to open that up, and you'll see they have added a whole bunch of new fights to Samurai. Samurai is kicking butt in Quebec. Most recently, yesterday, they added Thomas Anilowski versus Scott Rodriguez, and there's a bunch of other fights in there as well. Tommy Morrison added, Alex Morgan, uh, Kevin Popwick, Bastien, Antoine Chapeau, uh, John Ramsey, who just spent some time down at American Top Team in Florida training for this fight against Dejan Kajic, and, uh, of course, the main event, Robert Series and Kyle Prepolik. Uh whole bunch of wicked fights on that card. Okay, let's go back. We're going to go up now and take a look. If you want to open up the Montreal Fight League, I've yet to update this because this is very brand new, but Montreal Fight League has now announced their fight lineup. So if you see what I have there, I've got a whole bunch of the fights. I think pretty much all of them. They're not in the correct order, but by the time you look at this, it may be done or not because I've got a lot of work to do to update that. Next, we're going to go to Unified MA55. This is this uh, on January 19th. This is going to be a fantastic card. Now, some things you might not know about this in that this was a very different looking fight card now than it was even a week or two weeks ago. A lot of fights were canceled for a lot of reasons. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you can see all the canceled fights and you can see the ones that were there. Uh, the one that disappointed me possibly the most was that, well, there are two that disappointed me greatly. The first being Tony Laramie versus Louis Jordan. Jordan was injured, so hopefully we can see that fight happen again at some point in the future if uh, those guys don't get into bigger shows uh, first. Next was uh, Zach Powell versus Mac Larson. Zach from Niagara Top Team in Niagara, and Zach from, or, sorry, uh, Mac from Champions Creed in Calgary. Fantastic fighters. That fight didn't happen, so I was disappointed. But thankfully, Zach Powell got another fight in uh, in Unified. And if you take a look with me, you'll see that Zach is now fighting Mark Holm. You might not know the name, and I didn't really know him either. However, it turns out he is a teammate of Grikis Duplessis, who will be fighting Sean Strickland for the UFC middleweight title uh, just the day after this fight. Bunch of fights on there I'm looking for. Uh, I can't even name one. They're all fantastic. I mean, if you can get a chance, it's sold out, I know. So if you've got tickets, good for you. But if you don't, make sure you watch it on UFC Fight Pass. Uh, there's one more thing. So that's actually the fight order. What you're looking there should be the, 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 the um, sequence of the fights that night. I do have a little bit more news to share with you, but uh, it's actually pretty big news, but it's not going to be shared today. So make sure you're watching in the upcoming week and I'll let you know what's going on. I do have some video interviews coming up with Zach Powell and hopefully a couple of the Unified guys. But if you go back and now take a look at UFC 297 from the Scotiabank Arena, you'll scroll down. You'll see that I have all the fights listed in order from the prelims, main card, early prelim, prelims. All the Canadians there are listed in red. So you can see those are the Canadians. We've got a whole bunch on there. Uh, so far, you'll see this week, if you start tuning in tomorrow, I will have the MMA video interviews with Mike Malott, Mark andre Berrio, Charles Jourdain, Serhi City, and Jillian Robertson. I'm still hoping to get maybe one more, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, sometimes the, the week or the couple weeks leading up to, to especially a huge event like this, it's really taxing. They have a lot of commitments. They have to spend a lot of time. So I'm really thankful that I was able to speak with the fighters I did, and you might be able to get one more. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'd like to know if anybody's, uh, what they think so far, if possibly, about this new video series I have, catching you up to date. And uh, I guess when we talk next Sunday, it'll be after UFC 297 and Unified. So we're going to have lots of news to talk about, and I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Take care.